In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to create basic shapes and compositions in Illustrator. And I want to start by going ahead and copying an artist's work. And the artist that I want to copy is Pete Bondrian. And I'm just going to switch over to the web browser quickly so that we can see what his work looks like. And this is the Museum of Modern Art website, and this is a classic Mondrian here. It is very geometric with black lines and red, yellow, and blue, and white squares. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Illustrator. And so I want to make my own composition based off of this. So I'm going to basically be drawing squares and lines and filling them in with different colors. And to do that, I need to access my basic shapes. My basic shapes are on the left-hand side. Right? And if you don't see these, or your Illustrator does not look like this, you will want to go to Window, Workspace, Essentials, and then Reset Essentials. So I'm going to find my Shape Tool, and the Shape Tool can make a variety of shapes. In this case, I'm just going to start out with rectangles, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. And you see it kind of draws from one side to the other. Once I've made a rectangle, and I made it, and you can see it's selected because I can see all these corner points that I can then adjust. And I can also adjust with the rectangle, I can adjust its stroke and its fill. So in this case, I'm going to want to adjust the stroke, and I'm going to want to adjust the stroke width. So right now it's one point, and I'm going to make this five points so I can see the black line a little bit better. And then in this case, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in yellow. I'm going to go ahead and draw another rectangle, and depending on where I draw it, I might see some cyan lines, and these just say that it's lining up directly with something else. So in this case, I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw another rectangle, and this time I'm going to make the rectangle red. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw one more rectangle. I'm going to have it go to the edge of the document. And this time I am going to make it blue. So I now have three rectangles. And I'm going to go ahead and probably make a few more. But for right now, I'm going to start out. I'm going to change from the rectangle shape to the line seg segment. And so now I'm going to draw line segments. And so I'm going to click and drag to draw different line segments so I can kind of connect these rectangles together. So I have these black lines continuing. Kind of off of my canvas area here. All right, so I have this and I am just going to keep on building rectangles and lines until I'm happy with my composition. Okay, so I'm going to get something like this. And once I have that, I can go ahead and save it. So I'm going to go to File and Save. I'm going to save it on my computer in this case. And then I'm going to save it in my Documents folder. And I'm going to call this Mondrian inspired poster and whenever you say something you want to call it something that's specific so you'll be able to find it easily you don't want to call it untitled or art one or something like that because then you won't be able to find it later on and once I've saved it I then can come back and work on it later and realize that I want to do something else to it or maybe I'll decide that I'm done the way it is now